if we get into kind of discussing part of that, that, that chapter is essentially like about human nature and his criticisms of people like Max Stirner. Max Stirner was this sort of, you know, proto socialist figure um, that Marx and Engels wrote about in the German ideology. Um, Stirner wrote a book called The Ego and Its Own, um, yeah. which is this sort of radical individualistic manifesto that was influenced. It was influential on people like Nietzsche. Um, and, you know, essentially, I'm quoting the chapter now where it's like, Stirner concluded that all moral approaches, because they preach self-sacrifice, the name of some metaphysical notion, God, man, the state, class, nation, so on, were the enemies of freedom. Which, when I read it, when I read this part of it with Stirner, in my little like margins, because I write little notes in my margins when I'm reading oh, it nice. too, is when I was reading that, I was like, well, that's just like Ayn Rand. Right, right. It reads like, Stirner reads very much like Ayn Rand. And I think like, I, I kind of, like, I would not, like the kind of sort of radical individualism that Stirner advocated for is not something I am particularly yeah. interested in. I haven't read Stirner, but I've I've had people tell me that that's not entirely accurate and that he was more of the vein of like uh, he didn't think that anything should be sacred sort of thing. Like, yeah, uh, which is I mean, he he believed in he believed in, uh, you know, uh collectivism in a sense yeah. and he was a socialist in a sense but not in the way that you know you hold it as this sacred truth that can't yeah. be questioned 